to be honest, my favorite is just burning. You're gonna have some more blisters show up that you didn't know about? They're light right now compared to the big ones. Mm. But does it hurt you there? I'm sorry. Welcome back to the channel. We are actually headed back to New Jersey. This is kind of a piggyback off of our last video. Before I get too far into the video, I am going to address my hands and the bandages. So recently, I have not had good luck at all with my hands and getting injured. Uh, Kate's here next to me. I got the camera propped up because obviously I can't hold it. I'm gonna tell you why here in a second. But Kate kept telling me I'm an accident waiting to happen. Two months ago, I injured my thumb playing softball. That literally just got better and I was getting back to 100% I would say. And then yeah, 4th of July, I ended up hurting my hand. So I'm gonna show you what happened. I actually haven't watched the video yet, but I think Katie videoed I was what videoing happened. it while it happened and it did not look good. She was videoing just for the fun of it. So I'm gonna show you, hopefully that footage right now. It was super painful, I'm not gonna lie. What happened was we were outside eating lunch and someone was like, we should go climb this rope swing. And I was like, let's do it. And they were like, let's have a competition who can get up the fastest. And it was boys, gonna be like, boys, yeah, boys. it was gonna be like several of the guys. So I was like, you know what, let's do it. Just a rope swing. I've climbed poles before, but I've never climbed a rope. So I let Lawson go first. He did it like a pro. So I get up there, I start climbing, and I'm like, this does not seem right. Like, I'm not climbing this rope right. Um, so my technique was not correct. And when I got to the top, which it was probably about 15, 20, 20 feet. feet. Yeah. I got to the top and I started to slip. And so I grabbed onto the rope. I thought that would be better than falling, but it now. It's better, but like neither of them are good outcomes. So yeah, I grabbed that rope and it just burnt my hands the whole way down. So uh, when I actually hit the ground, I was like, okay, that actually didn't hurt that bad. No problem at all. Everyone kind of was like running over, like, are you okay? Are you okay? And uh, I was like, no problem, guys. Like, just keep doing what you're doing. Lawson walked me inside. I didn't even realize you were hurt at first. Goodness, like two minutes after it happened, my hands just lit on fire. So uh, I started to feel slightly better like six hours after, and it's been steadily getting better. So I'm at 24 hours out from the injury, doing better. Unfortunately, Katie now is stuck with no hands, Trav. She was doing my hair this morning. Help me shower. I don't even know what's gonna happen. Kate's just stuck with me, I guess. I'm not much help around here. She's gotta drive home. We have a 12 hour drive. Thankfully, Ellie's in the back seat. Shout out to Ellie, Hi. she's gonna be helping us. Kate, why don't you grab the camera so they can see you? They're getting tired of me. No, 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 no. What's up, guys? Speaking of Katie, she has to drive. 12 hours. I'm actually a pretty good driver, just on long spans, I need some breaks. But at this point, he doesn't really have an option because it is what it is. So, I got this. I'm gonna pull through for us. You drove here, I'll drive back. She's got it. Hopefully the recovery time isn't gonna be too long. Honestly, the 24 hour difference from yesterday to today has been worlds of a difference. So if that trend continues, I'll be very thankful. We just have a lot going on. So like, I feel bad putting all the tasks Stop. on you. But again, thankful Ellie's here. And then we're actually supposed to go out of town next week again to sing. Hopefully they hold fast. I think the boy said it should be a week to two weeks. So yeah. fingers crossed for fast recovery. You're going to be vlogging this week. So it's probably going to be our best vlog yet. Oh my word. Stay tuned. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, we are doing something She's fun. She's at you. She literally loves you. We're doing something fun today. Haley's um, first rodeo, guys. Quick update on my hands. They have healed so much faster than I thought they would. I do have certain fingers that have no skin on them. So those are wrapped up. I did get a uh, special cream. I can't remember it's like what it's antibiotic. called. antibiotic. And yeah. like a burn cream from a nurse, so that helped. It is nice that my hands are healing quick because I'm basically able to do everything that I was doing before. Not everything, but you're Not getting everything. there. You're like getting there. gripping and high pressure things I can't do, but um, I can drive, so that is a plus. So we are doing the rodeo tonight. Believe it or not, there are fields and cows and horses and like farmers and cowboys in New Jersey. So we thought Ellie's in town. She's more of that, you know, that stripe. So we are doing the rodeo tonight. Haley's never been. It's gonna be she so fun. Very it's excited. gonna be so fun, yay! If nothing else, we're gonna eat some good food, get some snacks, so it's gonna be a good weekend. We're gonna bring you along and show you some of the clips.
You guys just saw the oldest rodeo like in the US. I think they said it started in 1920, which is crazy. I don't know why it ended up being in Jersey of all places. Literally. Like who would have guessed? 30 minutes from us, it's like cowboys, big trucks, cornfields. Different world. And I have to work on my rodeo attire. I have mm. no cowboy boots. No cowboy hat. I mean, Haley like, beat you to the cowboy hat. Oh my word, that was the cutest thing I have ever seen. We were just walking over to the shop to see the hats and this guy came out. They were so cute. With these special hats that were not even on display and we're like, try this on. And it fit perfectly. It was, it was so cute. Ever. So we had to get it. Best purchase recently. Ellie, what do you think about uh, the rodeo? So much fun. Definitely worth it. It's like you a like little it? bit of Tennessee in New Jersey, so. Little bit of paradise in New Jersey. <laughs> This is a totally random part of the vlog, but we just got back from church and Haley was wearing the cutest outfit today. Look at this angel. Haley James. Haley James. She's Mommy smiling loves in her you. sleep. Mommy loves you. Hello. Are you ready to eat? We gotta get you some food. Yeah. Let's get some food. Guys, look at the cute outfit. I can't handle it. It's a little romper with these little ruffles. Oh, someone's hungry. Haley. Someone's hungry. Hey. Mwah. Haley, can you Let's smile? Get some food. Let's get some food. Aww. All right, we're getting some food, guys. See you later, vlog. We are outside today. It has been raining the past few days and today was beautiful. So we wanted to come out here, spend some time with Haley. And guys, we got a pool. I am so excited. I want to show it to you guys because it is so epic. The you ready? Big pool. Woohoo! Haley said, I got a pool. Haley, show everybody your pool. It's so fun. She's like, sit me up, Dad. Yes, she loves it. We've been out here for like 20 minutes and she is just living her best life. We got some bath toys. Mom filled it up with like warm sink water so she wouldn't be cold. So nice. Splash, splash, splash. Haley loves her bath time, so this is right up her alley. She is loving it. She also recently found her toes. Get him, Haley. She was doing it for probably 30 minutes last night, just reaching her feet as far as she could get them and grabbing her toes. It was so cute. Remy, come here. Remy is also out. Going in the party. She's been so good. The older she gets, the more chill she gets. Before, I was nervous with her just out in the backyard because I thought she would like run away. Now she'll just come out here and sit here for hours and just lay in the grass. We do live on a busy road though, so for several reasons, we want to get a fence. We have talked about it in the past. Remy just opened the door and let herself in. But we have talked about getting a fence in the past, and so we are in the process of doing it. It is a long process, uh, longer than we both thought. So. Hopefully we'll have a fence up here soon. Katie and I need your help on something else though. A big decision that's gonna last a long time. Yeah, so basically we had mentioned doing a deck and we still have not got that done yet, but we are now at the point to where we are trying to decide if a deck is the right option for us. The other option we have been throwing around though is a concrete pad. Uh, we had some friends of ours do one and it looked really nice. We have no really place to sit out here with Haley and just enjoy the outdoors. So we're trying to get it done as soon as possible, but I feel like the concrete a little bit, I have some hesitation. I don't know if it's even better than a deck, but I don't want her like falling on or anything. So that's my only hesitation. It's gonna last a long time, especially if we do concrete. So we wanna make the right decision. I did throw around the idea of a outdoor rug to kinda put yeah. some smooth, soft texture on top of the concrete, but we gotta make that decision quick because like I said, we kinda had the deck already in Planned the motion. Out, yeah. So if you guys have an opinion on which one would be better, if you have a deck or if you have a concrete slab or pad, whatever they call pros them. Pros and cons guys, leave us the pros and cons. We have to decide that very quickly. So let us know what you think, pros and cons. Say hello everybody. Yeah. She's only getting cuter the older she gets. I can't handle it. We basically just got back in town guys and we are already packing up to leave. It feels like we just got home like yesterday. Uh, it's been a fast week. Ellie just left today, uh, so she was here with us. So we're headed to Ohio tomorrow. My family is gonna be doing some singing. We're gonna be in the RV, so that's gonna be fun. It's late. Katie's in here doing some last minute packing. White or tan, guys? White or tan? Tan. <laughs> tan over white? White. <laughs> I thought you'd like white. I'm gonna, pick, I'm gonna take That's the story of my life. I feel like if I don't give the right answer, it leads her to the right answer. If I say one and she says the other, the decision Whatever. has been made. Thankfully, I'm able to do everything like normal for the most part. I'm sure Kate's pretty happy about very, that. Very, very happy. Back on diaper changing duty because you know I change all the diapers. Oh, 
Right. <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this week. So I guess Haley will do the honors. Say bye bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Say bye bye. Can you say bye bye? Uh -uh. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next week. Peace out.